This is Kevin Martini with the Kevin Martini Group at DNJ Gateway Bank Mortgage. And the Consumer Finance Protection Bureau has issued the TILA RESPA Integrated Disclosure, also referred to as TRID. Now, TRID will replace a lot of the documents that you are used to seeing in a real estate transaction. For this purpose of this video, we're going to go over the loan estimate. The loan estimate replaces and combines the good faith estimate, the initial truth in lending, and the services disclosure. TRID goes into place October the 3rd from there on. Now there's going to be specific timelines for delivery of the loan estimate for you. Most important that you know before you owe. You need to know that the loan estimate is a three page document which is very consumer friendly and easy to read. As you can see, page one in the upper left hand corner is going to be the date the loan estimate was actually created, your applicant information, the property address you're securing, along with the sales price of your home. In the upper right hand corner, it's going to go over the loan terms the purpose, the product, the loan type, as well as whether or not your loan is locked. The loan term section is going to highlight your loan amount, your interest rate, and your monthly principal and interest. It's also going to denote whether there's a prepayment penalty or a balloon. In the projected payments, it's going to highlight your estimated totally monthly payment that you're going to have to write to the mortgage company. In addition, it's going to highlight any items that are not included in your escrow that you may or may not have to pay on a monthly basis in your mortgage payment. The closing cost has two rows. Row number one is going to reflect all of your closing cost. Does not pay any attention to any credits such as earnest money, such as deposits of a due diligence fee, or seller paid closing costs. Now your estimated cash to close will include those credits and the provide a pretty accurate statement of what the check is you'll have to bring to the closing table. On page two, you'll see there's two columns. Column one are your loan costs and column two are other costs as well as a calculation of your cash to close. Let's take a look at the loan cost. The loan cost has three sections. Section A is your origination charges. It's most important that you know your origination charges cannot change once a loan is locked. Then you're going to see in Section B services you cannot shop for. These are for items like an appraisal or a credit report or a flood certification. These charges might change with a delta of plus or minus 10%. Section C of the loan costs are going to go ahead and share services you can shop for, such as home inspection fees or professional fees with your attorney for a settlement cost. Please know that these numbers are controlled by the actual buyer and they may change all the way during the process. The second part here is the, on the upper right hand corner, is your taxes and other government fees your prepaids, um, and escrow setup account. Now, it's important that you see that the column one total plus column two total equal your total closing cost. And that number will flood over to page one of the actual loan estimate. In the lower right-hand corner, you will see your cash to close. This will give a breakdown of the economics associated with the transaction to include all your credits. So that number is the number how on page one it is derived. Now page three is packed with a ton of information. Number one in the comparison section, it's going to share with you how much you're, you will pay in principal, interest, mortgage insurance, and other loan costs in five years. In addition, the second number in that section is going to denote how much principal you would have paid off in that five years. It'll also say your annual percentage rate and your total interest percentage. Now, you will sign this. However, please understand by signing the LE, 
it does not mean that you're moving forward with the transaction. It's important that you put in writing to your lender that you intend to proceed. As a quick summary real quick, on page two of the loan estimate, it's important that you know the column in blue will not change. The column in yellow could change plus or minus 10%. And the column in green could change based on the vendors that you select. The Kevin Martini Group is dedicated to make sure you know before you owe. If you have any questions about the loan estimate, please do not hesitate to give us a call at 919-274-3700.